So one of my favorite quotes in the whole wide world is Shakespeare's. And he says, nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And a lot of times when I say this, certainly at my intro talks, people are like, hi, you don't know my life. You don't understand where I'm coming from. This is bad. And I'm not trying to invalidate anyone's experiences. But let's think about this for just a moment. Nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And this concept, I think it, I love the quote so much because it resonates with this ancient concept from the Vedas. So the Vedas are an ancient body of knowledge, the same body of knowledge that gives us yoga, acupuncture, feng shui, Ayurvedic medicine. And according to the Vedas, there's no such thing as good or bad. There's no such thing as right or wrong. There is simply creation, maintenance, and destruction. And if you lead with creation, then you get more and more of nature's support. Nature tends to be more elegant. Life flows really effortlessly. You know, you think about the person and they call you. You decide to turn down a beautiful sunlit street and you run into your best friend. You're really in flow. Now the trick is, we humans, we lead with creation, we like the results of that, and then we immediately try to maintain. And when you start leading with maintenance, then destruction is in second place, and creation has gone to the back burner. So an example of this would be, uh, you get $10,000 in your bank account, and then there's like bank fleas and inflation, and it's gone. Or you start working out at the gym, lifting weights, looking good, and then you get to your goal weight. You're like, oh good, I'm just gonna maintain. And the next thing you know, you're weaker than when you started. Or you get into a relationship, you get on Match.com, get into a relationship, you're like, ooh, I like you. Yeah, you're cute. I like the way you make me feel. Okay, so you stay the same, and I'm gonna stay the same, and we're just gonna stay together forever and ever and ever, and then they break up with you. Right? If we're leading with maintenance, then destruction is nipping at our heels because we're waving the flag of irrelevancy for destruction to come through and clean house. And then we all know what it looks like when destruction comes through. Right? It's not bad. It is making way for creation, but it's not elegant. So the way this applies to meditation is that we want to stay firmly in the creation category. So twice a day meditation puts us in creation, once a day meditation we're in maintenance, and zero times a day meditation we're actually in destruction because we're piling up the stresses bit by bit, day by day. So my suggestion to you is to go ahead and commit to your twice a day practice. It's actually easier than committing to just once a day. So play with this idea. Notice how many times this week you say, oh, the sun is shining, it's so, so good. Oh, it's raining, it's so, so bad. Stock market went up, it's so, so good. Stock market went down, it's so, so bad. That's what the weather does, it changes. That's what the stock market does, it goes up and down. So instead of judging things as good or bad, what if instead you ask the question, where am I leading with creation? Where am I holding on to maintenance? And where has destruction come through to clean house? It's an interesting way, and I would offer a more elegant way to see life. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that. And if we haven't hung out yet, come see me over at zivameditation.com. All right, bye.